All right, hello, and welcome back to uh, more Half-Life 2. I don't think there's anything back here there. Last episode, we made our way through pretty much half of this canal, I'm pretty sure. All right, cool. And, uh, and we made it to the base that we were, well, I don't know if we were planning on getting here, but I think they directed us to this when we first left. But... All right. Now you're gonna tell me what we're up against. Okay, cool. This here is the dam. It's just up ahead. The dam. Eli's hideout is here. A stone's throw from the apron and nestled in the old hydro plant. Nice. But getting there with that hunter chopper on your ass. Where are we right now? Are we there? Good news is the Vortigaunt's working his magic on your airboat, so you'll have a little more firepower going forward. Lomo. I think he's just finishing up now. Go on out. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Okay. Eli is down there. I think. So we're up here then. This is City 17. Did we go all the way around to escape them? Dude, because I think we went out that one. Just laying there. I don't, I don't get this geography of this fucking place. And that doesn't give me anything. That looks like fucking Florida. Alright, you done? Alrighty then. Take that chopper down, and you should be able to tear on through to Eli's place. What's the thing with this weapon? Or suffer greatly on the road. Yes, I accept, thank you. I will always accept more weapons. I am Gordon Freeman. I one day picked up a weapon when my place of work got invaded by, invaded by a bunch of aliens, and uh, ever since then I've been on a bloodthirsty rampage, killing anything and everything that moves, and I have become known for this fact of life. If people know that I wreck, wreck shit up. Do anything. Lomo. Yeah, I think we can stop here, but I'm going to choose not to because fuck that. Oh. No, he's gonna still shoot me, isn't he? Whoa, okay. Well, no. You tried to use the barrels on me and you fucked up. Why do you guys just have explosive barrels placed everywhere? I don't really quite understand that, to be honest, but. They're not the smartest army. We can refill on our ammo here. For some reason, it creates two. Is it because I've got two lasers, or is it just showing where the spray is going to be? Whatever. Boom, Diada. Boom! Yep. Lamo. New shit. And I'm thinking this is not where I'm supposed to go, but I will pick up whatever they have for me, anyways. So, full on everything, never mind, except for energy, which is not super important right now. So, alrighty then. Let's get a move on. Oh, okay. I am recording this just after my last, or no, first exam, not last, my first exam of uh, second year in my last semester. Software design 
and analysis, which was a very stupid class, by the way. Everything they taught in that class, we could have taught in the other software systems class. They could have just made it one unit. Every diagram is basically the same fucking thing. I mean, they all have very different uses and stuff, but it's not hard to Google what the diagrams look like and then just go from there, you know? That's probably what most programming software engineers and developers do anyways, so... I don't see why... I don't see why we have to, uh... To make an entire fucking course about... Oh, fuck. Ammo. Alrighty then. I think we can just go... Is that breakable? No. There is some shit in there. If I want it. Uh, how am I supposed to get up here? Must involve shooting something. Doesn't have to, but... Certainly would make sense now, wouldn't it? Uh, I don't actually quite know what to do here. Perhaps I'll find some answers. If I go a little bit on foot here. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, I see. That makes a lot of sense. Puzzle solves. Oh yeah, anyways, I was just making diagrams. Did the exam and... I did the... they had a practice exam for this class and most of the questions that were on the practice exam were on the exam like the actual final the only stupid thing was like she was like oh eighty percent of them will be similar and you can reuse she says I'm like you can reuse your diagrams from your like take home assignment and I was like cool so this means like they're just gonna be copy paste right and then no she just added like I mean it makes sense as well but it's just the control questions already took so long to complete like so long. It took me like two days of just grinding away at it. And you know um it was just so annoying to have to just add, like take the diagrams I made yesterday and then just like add on them. It was a lot easier because I had done the control questions obviously. But it was also pretty fucking ridiculous, I must admit. It was just annoying because I hate making all the diagrams the night before. If I had done it, like, if I had done the control questions, like, I had finished them maybe with a day to spare or something, I probably would have enjoyed the exam more. And not that I should have to enjoy an exam, it's just, like, feeling good because I know every right answer is a lot nicer than being annoyed to have to do even more work than I've just been doing. But, it means I'm in a better mood. It probably means I create better diagrams, honestly. Because I care more. <laughs> and this is the boss, I guess, of this area. I'll do these bombing attack runs every so often. Pretty easy. First boss, just staying here. I don't think there's anything more to it. I think he might land and that's why I'm saving those uh, barrels for, but I keep getting him down one more engine, so probably gonna do the thing again. Oh no, he's shooting at me this time. Um, there's 
There we go. Yeah. Fucked. Alright. Do we... Oh, yeah. Try to remember. Always one more puzzle after you just finish the last one, and I'm stuck on the ladder, aren't I? <laughs> Wonderful. All right, cool. So we're just gonna be stuck on this ladder then, as we raise up this barrier, and I think you have to raise it up all the way. Or else it'll fall back down. Diamond. I don't think that's actually an ammo box. I thought that was ammo. Is it ammo? I don't think it is. Be a uh, kind of a weird place to hide ammo. We don't really don't really see that all that much, but would definitely make kind of sort of sense. I think I'm supposed to just keep my. I don't think I can, I don't think I have to go through this area, but I'm going to uh, just, observation, I see, Let's, I might get something cool, I don't know, I'm trying to think if there's an optional weapon, I think they just give you, once you're supposed to get it, they give you the level after, why if you go to the last mission you'll have all the weapons already, just by loading into it, but, yeah, no, I, I guess there was an optional weapon in Half-Life 1. That's probably why I thought of it. This is the, uh, the really powerful gun you get when you go launch the missile. I think it's from launching the missile? Actually, I'm not sure. It's in, like, an area after that, I think. And it's just, like, um, up, and you have to kill a couple guys and stuff, but it's, I think it's out of the way. It was hidden or something. All I remember is in, uh, Freeman's Minds. Freeman's Mind. Oh, that's the only reference I have to Half-Life 1, to be honest, besides the small amount I played myself, but... Um... Okay. But, uh... Yeah. I mean, I really haven't played all that much of <laughs> Half-Life 1, so most of it is Freeman's Mind, literally. And then the rest of it... is... What I can try to remember, but anyway, so I, uh. It's not this way. No, I guess it's over there. And there's. G Man again, and I fucking fell. Great. You see G Man off to the right there? He was spying on us! Alright, alright, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So I'm taking it a little slower. Don't focus on G-Man. He's not even there anymore. Makes sense. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, that was close. Yeah, let's focus on fucking G-Man again. and All fucked up. There we go. I guess this is the end of the line. Oh, no, this is where I go to open the new... The other section. Oh, there's a ladder that I can knock down there just in case I, just in case I fall off somehow, which would be really bad. Hydro dam. Is this just a backup or is it just like a small door? Oh, no, it's just one of the doors. Lamau. Works for me. Works for me. No, oh, come on. I fell off it accidentally before. I think I can fall off it on purpose. There we go. Gotta get a good ramp up here. Literally ramp up here. And also... Oh, okay. We're bad at this. 
What did I expect, honestly? What did I really expect? Okay. Lining things up as a... Uh, oh, never been my fucking strong suit, I guess. Jesus. I guess not. I don't know why I'm not a better fucking FPS player. There we go. Fuck off. Something I need to be doing. Feels like it's impossible to make this. I think I'm just really bad. There we go. Holy fuck. That's a uh, quite a ways down. Didn't realize. There's some cool moments in this game, honestly. Some cool spectacles and sort of created events and experiences. That was it. I thought it was a lot longer than this, but I guess compared to some of the other missions in this game, it, it is, but also n at the same time, not really. But anyways. A little boss and then an end puzzle to, uh, to round things off. And I don't know, is there something back here or is this just another way? Oh, this is actually the way to get to where I need to go. Perfect, glad I came. Now we meet for the first time got something. this girl. Okay, it's it's human. Hello? Take oh. it easy in there. You're safe now. You're gonna have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. She's gonna see me. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly while Eli is going this to quickly. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. I just scanned me to make sure I'm not, like, Mesa. pretending to be. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Kleiner when they are at the top of their field. Hey, I was the best. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. Lamo. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. True. I think Alex is around here somewhere, isn't she? Or is Alex come out later? We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your trip. We're closing in on a reliable. This is a very long talking section. I think this is like. Ooh, actually, it's the last one in a while because you kind of go on a long ass adventure to. I don't even remember what you're doing. You have a lot of different goals in this game. It's very much a uh, an adventure. I sound like a post doc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. But there's there's not much more until right before like the last like three chapters in the game, right before you get back to City Seventeen. You're actually able to get through these floors like using glitches and basically go to the right to the bottom before Mossman comes. But I don't know it. I don't know any of that stuff, like I've said before. Surprise! Gordon Freeman. Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? We're good friends. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. Yes, you <laughs> did. I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not you were at the very beginning of Half-Life 1, right after the uh, cascade. Right you are. MIT That's how you got that. Few and far er. these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Hmm. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. Oh yeah, because I guess they expect me to start working with these guys. Feel free to look around. And not, uh, not be out battling, and then we get attacked, and then that's when I go on a whole adventure to try and save Eli. That's why we go to the prison. But I have to make it to the prison, so that's my goal. And then, yeah, and then we'll do all of that in this game, so I don't really know what I'm doing here. 
You don't want to catch up anymore, buddy? Literally saved your fucking life. I just want you to know that. Yeah, maybe. Actually, no. I feel like you would have lost more than your fucking leg if I hadn't been there, so. Wallace. That's his name. Wallace Breen declared interim administrator. Because he's the head scientist. And Earth made a smart decision. But. I guess he was corrupt or something. I don't know. You proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle. With the possible exception of you. Dad, please. You want Gordon and your daughter to get together? Your work friend and your daughter? Just because I'm some kind of war hero? Fuck you, man. Also, she's like 20 and I'm like, I don't know, 40 something probably. Or Take 30. This, Gordon. What are we looking at? Cool. I mean, there's no more word of what, like, what I'm supposed to do. It's a really boring section. So that's why they give you so many, like, fucking uh, interactive objects. Alex. Really make it like a story. Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the compound <coughs> by Rister. Uh, are you blaming me? No. Nope. Not at all. It was a calculation error. Watch That's out. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <coughs> Alex. Why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh, let's get out of here. She sounds like your mom who died. I don't remember how. Alright. We're just gonna stay in here? Okay, cool. Alright, uh, this is the end of this episode, so I will see you guys next time where we will continue our way through to chapter 3 of this game, I do believe. I'll see you guys then. Bye.